If you are paying well over $100 for cable or satellite TV and you see an advertisement like that, it's a no-brainer, right? How much money would you actually save by cutting the cord? There are some things no one else is going to tell you. You'll probably have to pay more for the internet. You might be getting a bundle deal now with cable. Dropping TV will, for most people, make your monthly bill go higher. If you're already seeing buffering warnings on Netflix, you'll need to invest in a better Wi-Fi router. And depending on the size of your house, you may need a mesh system that improves internet speeds throughout your home. You'll lose some channels you want to watch. Whether you decide on Hulu Plus Live TV, YouTube TV, Sling, or Fubo, they don't offer everything. One might have A&E but doesn't have Bravo, and another is just the opposite. Someone in the house may not be able to watch their favorite show and channel. How many screens will be streaming at the same time? YouTube limits it to three, Hulu two, Sling just one, unless you pay extra for more screens. Streaming services are going to cost about $60 a month plus taxes and fees. The average cable customer is paying $160. The cost of the most popular satellite subscription is $110 a month plus fees and taxes. If you want a lot of channels, you'll never get close to $25 a month. And which streaming service is best for you and your family? We will take a look at that next time. That's What the Tech. I'm Jamie Tucker.